I am Knuckles the Echidna. The one and only guardian of Angel Island, and of the Master Army. Fated to my duty until the end of my days. This is who I was. Then I went hoverboarding with Sonic and Tails, punched the bird in the face. He never saw it coming. Welcome back, everyone, every two, every three, four, five, to the J-Play play-along of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, part 2, 1, T! So, last we left off, we discovered a palace. A palace that was hidden away by the name of... Hidden Palace! Real shocker, I know. But, more importantly, we're about to start these trials for the Super Emeralds. Just jump on one and you'll be whisked away to a super special stage. So here you might be tempted to collect all the blue spheres, but you don't need to. As a matter of fact, I highly advise against it, as you just trap yourself in a wall of red spheres. You can just pick up on the, the two on the outside and make it 4x4 four four square. You'll need the room eventually. Also, say hi to Golden Spheres! Go! Okay. <clears throat> so, this is really just a more complicated grid, and all you have to do is find your way around. This could have taken a shorter amount of time for me, but I usually focus more on the area around Knuckles, and not, a, not out of the horizon. And now we're starting to see that once we clear out the 4x4s, four we can move around a lot easier by jumping over the gold spheres. Like that. I, don't, I just love collecting rings here, or in any special stage, rather. And, I, and again, I don't, know, I don't know why. I mean, sure, there was an extra life in it here, but I usually do it even if there isn't one, or continue even to get. Bad habit? Good habit? Babbity babbity grabbing rabbit habit? I suppose I'll just drop it eventually. Like that's gonna happen. So now I just gotta get the two blue spheres I left behind in the beginning, wherever they are. Anywhere? Anywhere? There they are. Congrats! You've obtained your first Super Emerald! For however many times you've played this game so far. That just sounds so triumphant, that ding. You can tack that onto just about any phrase and a thumbs up and it'll sound awesome. So, yes, about searching for the Super Emeralds. This is actually my first time in a while seriously going on to you. At first, several years back when I was playing this on my copy of Sonic Mega Collection, and I saw that try and I was like, whoa, whoa, I've never been here before. I think I had like four or five Chaos Emeralds at the time, so I only had that many trials open or something like that. No, I must have had them all. Yeah, I did, never mind. But boy was Emerald hunting a pain back then! I could only find the portal at the beginning of Mushroom Hill, and I had to spam the soft reset every time I did or didn't get an Emerald. And ever since then, I've always done no Emerald runs, because I've always thought, eh, ah, it's too much work. I guess that stuck with me until now. Anything up there? No? Okay. So, I hope you won't mind, but I will be scouring as much of the remaining zones as I remember to while showcasing them off at the same time. It will result in longer videos, yes, but hopefully, because of that, all of us will leave this play along with a better knowledge of the game in question. And you won't just be hearing me go, "wee" every time I speed up anymore. Unless you like that. I don't see how you could. I didn't even enjoy it. Well, anyway... The launch base pretty much ended the Lunkle's exclusive routes anyway. Hidden in this tunnel is an extra life. That's always good. Nope, oh, nope, nope, nope. Can't catch me again. Ah! A snare trap! I hate these things. They're nearly as bad as the Batbot spinning tower combination. They really restrict your movement. Running? No. Oh, physics! Uh, as soon as one, one, uh, as soon as I deal with one problem, another one comes up. <sighs> Physics doesn't like seeing me succeed. No, oh no, another snare trap! I can't glide away either. Ah, uh, it seems the only way to break free is to break spin dash. Yes, break spin dash. Especially if you got two on you, then you pretty much can't move at all. Oh, there's something in there. I'm certain of it. Yep. Oh. My goodness, another extra life. Mushroom Hill's being really nice all of a sudden. Paranoia setting in it. Oh, thank you, Fire Shield. That must be the shortest period of time anyone's ever had a shield. And yet another extra life! Suddenly, robotic loggers! 
What are you doing with that golden axe? Chopping, chopping down trees? You despicable robot thing, you. Invincibility abuse doesn't work so well here. And we through the fight, the locks go. Oh, that's right, we're supposed to be obeying the laws of gravity. Again, much easier with Sonic. Or maybe that's my impatience kicking in. This zone is one of those I'd normally speed by and not really care about. Especially with Act 2. Everything exciting is in the foreground. All you really have in the back are the trees. So if I can get up here, past that dragonfly, up here is an invincibility canister monitor thing. And then we have what looks like a seasonal transition. Yeah, the leaves are brown now, and this guy's, this guy's a tad darker than before. Gives a feeling of autumn, meaning that for summer, and that makes total sense. That's actually quite cool, a multi-seasonal level like this. Anything in there? Uh, no. Of course not. Totally not being desperate or anything, guys. I'm just in search everything mode. Makes this an extra get, extra, extra bad get. Uh, Snare trap! Uh, I'm almost damn near invisible too. Now uh, there's a floating mushroom, but screw that. We're knuckles. Gliding is in our veins, like the blood of our ancestors. It flows inside us. Our duty is to save the people from consuming mushrooms all day. I don't know. Mm. There's nothing up there. This mushroom's okay, though. It flies for a short bit. There's a distinct difference. Oh, there's something there. What is it? What is it? I must go see. It is a portal, yes! Super Emma number two, here we come! This stage is really short. Compacted, but short. We start by making a square here, make a square there. It's basically 90% making squares. 10% race course. No real tricks here. And then the last four spears are in a straight line. Mm, no challenge, really. Can't go backwards on the course. For extra challenge, I guess, but for now, I'm just gonna get these last six blue spheres. Collect some rings. Boing. And now we've got our second super emerald. Say, 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 I knew that emerald was orange. You may be able to trick the joiner occasionally, but you can seldom fool him. So we've got two emeralds already. From what I can, from what I can see, that's some pretty nice progress. We're still in Mushroom Hill after all. So now we go up here, and off we go again, going this way. No, not that way. And the alternative. Aside from the Ten Rings, is another snare trap! Uh, but at least an easy countermeasure is to spin in place. It may be costly time-wise, but if you want to keep those rings, there you go. Chicken! Gah! Gababa flabba! Just after I implied, just after I implied that I wanted to keep my rings, I take it back. Mushroom Hill's a jerk. And this perk took me forever. You're bound to see a time skip in action eventually. Really, it took me like 10 tries because I really didn't want to take the bottom path for some reason. See, there it was. And yet I persisted because I want to take Sonic's route again. No particular reason. No, there's nothing there. Yeah, you just speed on into another s scenery transition. Looks like spring now. What, did we just skip winter entirely? I'd have liked to have seen winter, thanks. That's my favorite season. Oh well. To the right of this hand crank up here, past the chicken, is an, our third portal. Though you can really take these portals in whatever order, game willing. <laughs> One question I'd like to raise is, why are the Super Emeralds free out to begin with? And I don't mean this in the literal gaming sense, it's an extra challenge for experienced Sonic gamers because getting the Chaos Emeralds are too easy now. I mean this in the Sonic vs. lore type sense, as in, this is the only time you'll see the Super Emeralds in a Sonic game. What could be so much of a crisis that you need an even stronger set of Emeralds to handle it? And this is why I mentioned Trials in the beginning of this part. In that same sense, it feels like you're being put to a fail-safe test of worthiness. Because only less than a handful of people can actually handle that much power without being corrupted, etc. You know how that goes. And there's our third Super Emerald. COME HERE, YOU! Purple. Not bad. 
Jeez, another extra life? It's so many. I don't know. I don't know what to do with them all. I'll be like Zasilamel from Soul Calibur and outlive everyone tenfold or something. I think there's only one alternative to this next part, and I took the wrong path. So let's crank. Creak, 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 creak. Creak, creak. It's a little slow and tedious. Yeah. In fact, I couldn't really tell you why that's there. Maybe it's a hiking implement. I don't know. Horribly inefficient if that's the case. So the final checkpoint's right up there, and I thought I could use these mushrooms. Over here is leverage to get up to the left, but I went too far, and now I'm locked into the boss fight. For shame, Joiner. Surely you knew this would happen already. So let's take our frustrations of whatever it is that's making that incessant beeping. Looks like a transmitter. Ah, blah. Looks like a transmitter and reveal like Robo boss fight commence. And it's summer again. Weird. Since we got the jump on him, he doesn't really have anything to defend himself with. Pulsion still hurts though. This fight would be harder if not for the fact that you can hit it for pro gliding skills. Egg Robo wishes he had something like that. The propulsion still hurts, and that's the last hit. We're done with Mushroom Hill. And now the fun begins again! Strap on your aviation goggles, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be grabbing onto engines and hitching a ride onto what can only be described as a flying battery. Love the zone! But then I told you that already. Uh, where do I begin again? How about here? There's a lightning shield and invincibility up there. This doesn't really change my opinion that a flame shield is more useful here, but come on! Ring magnetism! Who's gonna give that up even for the five seconds you have it before you swap it for the flame shield down there? Granted, that's what I should have done, but I got greedy. Ring magnetism! <clears throat> and now we're outside. One slip here equals loss of life, and that was the most diff difficult obstacle for me back in middle school. Here and in Wing Fortress. Except in the latter, it was much, much harder to recover from any mistakes you made and much more rage inducing. Yes, I played Sonic games in school. Shows how cool I am. So, after this platform jumping bit, we get launched up to the next cargo hold, and down there are two capsules holding five or six rings apiece. Because I'm cool, I'll go get them for you. But they're not affected by the, by the ring landed to the semi sad face. <sighs> Taking out that techno squeak like a boss! Up the ascending barrels. The half pipe, and I lose my lightning shield. Yeah, I never really understood what this next part was for. It's, it's not really connected to anything, it's just sort of hovering there. But it looks pretty cool, and it serves as a moving platform, so it works! As a matter of fact, there's, there's so many things in this zone that I'm not familiar with, but they all look so cool! I can't help it. No, my rings! Should've, should've picked up the flame shield after all. No, my rings again! Stupid rotating flamethrowers. It's not like I'm running into you on purpose for entertainment value or anything. Don't be ridiculous. And now we have propellers on turbines that we must jump past. Not too hard, but the propellers will hurt you. And up here's another extra life. Go figure. It's, it's like I'm teaching you how to cheat the game. Legitimately! Hey, more electrosuction cool beans! <clears throat> okay, despite the ele the, ah, the electrosuction. <laughs> despite the difficulties here, and I believe I said this before in part 9, 10, I, I, I don't even remember. But from when I first laid eyes on this zone, it was quite impossible for me to not love it. With every last iota of my existence for practically the same reason that people love Ice Cap. No matter how many techno squeaks you throw at me, no matter how many flamethrowers there are, no matter however many walls I can't get up without time skipping, my love for flying battery will and that is and will remain unconditional. Say it with me. Joiner loves flying battery. There you go. Thumbs up. You can't really top this feeling of danger, yet excitement and energy. Not with the Death Egg. Not with Sonic Rush Adventure, not with Sonic the Hedgehog 4, not with Sonic Colors. Okay, maybe with Sonic Colors, but you still get the picture. I haven't played Sonic 4 either, but I have played the other two, and those are my two favorites as of now. And for Flying Battery, why it's lonesome to be up there with that shows you how much of an impact it made on me. 
Yep, every last ring is worth it. Oh, and below that lone set of spikes I passed is another portal, but I didn't notice. Ho oh, ho! Just push it out of the way and you'll fall right into it, I think. <clears throat> Jump up the... Jump up the... Time skip! Ah! Checkpoint. Oh, jeez, what's that? No, really, I have, I have no clue what that is. Um... No, I got nothing. See, see, this is what I mean. Watch it be something that's absolutely vital for the ship, and I'll be dumbfounded. Missiles that are only launched about five feet in the air before dropping back down onto the hull. I've really got to start questioning. Them. Knuckles, stop teabagging the ship. Have some decency. This is a piece. This is a PGJ play. Well, it was. That lightning shield in the way. And. Now swinging spike balls on chains. He can stick just about anything on his ships. They'll work. Somehow. I don't know. I don't have an IQ of 300. And now I'm climbing up here looking for a secret compartment, but you'll be hard pressed to find portals here. I mean, this largest flying battery is, you'll be lucky to find anything. I'm not sure why those missiles were there or why they had parachutes, but I do know one thing. We're coming up on the act one boss, which is a fake capsule with spike ball arms. Interesting. Reminds me of arms from Dr. Robotics Mean Bean Machine. Beans, beans, let me give you a hand or two. You can't harm this boss yourself, but turns out standing on the button irritates him and he'll swing an arm at you and hit himself. Yeah, have fun with that. This is the norm. Six hits is what you need. Okay, enough Sonic Rush. This isn't Sonic Rush. <clears throat> Act 2's a tad more insidious than the previous act. It may start the same with that foot launcher there, but nope, the two are different. Really different. Ah, oh, there goes my lightning shield again. That's nothing new at this point. Nor is it that bad, because there's another one right there. Convenience! So, loops into vertical spinning barrels. More faux 3D effects! I can't speak on a first-hand account, but I bet all the kids that grew up with Genesis were like, Whoa! Cut it out! You're blowing our minds, Sonic Team! You won't ever really find a Sonic fan who doesn't have three knuckles on the list of their five most favorite Sonic games, if not having it as number one. They, it was monumental, and while I don't concur as much as they'd want me to, I can definitely see their line of thought because, well, I don't need to mention how much I love Flying Battery anymore. So, while I take these barrels to the other side, I might as well tell you guys that after this play-along, which I don't even know when it'll be finished because I, I do plan to do the whole game, 100%, you heard it here first, I'm not too sure which one I'm going to do next. I mean, I have some plans in store, but they're kind of in flux at the moment, and nothing's really certain. And then I got to thinking of the possibility of playing through certain games which I reach a certain number of subscribers, but then that would just take away from the innocence factor, so that's up in the air too. So I'm just going to go with the flow and see where that takes me and until I can think of something better. Nothing but mines over there to the left, and I thought I could get past those spike balls even though I spend dash late. Didn't work! <laughs> Of course that's not gonna work. Come on. Checkpoint. More mines. And you totally didn't notice that time skip until I said something. Editing skill is maximum. One, two. Get some invincibility and some ten rings and miss lunch with that spring. Everything is fine up until this part. That. No, 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 no! You are not Sonic! You cannot run up walls like that! Your acceleration is terrible! Deal with it! Ugh, so now my invincibility's run out, and as soon as it does... I run into spikes! It makes absolute sense! I mean, who doesn't like to run into spikes every now and again? Totally my favorite hobby! And this... Uh, this, I'll admit, was stupid of me. This is, my, this is where my composure started to shake in the face of this awesome zone. And I was like, I lost my shield, I lost my rings, gotta tough it out, man. No, wait, what are you doing? Uh, ring rainbow. That was one of those moments where you didn't realize you did something wrong until it was too late. Ring rainbow, you must be kidding me. Take some spikes, they're in your face. Ring Rainbow. Okay. As so, soon as we get over there, I hope. Safely. Okay, this spider thing is going to take us to the other side of the barrel that, from the beginning of the act, 
We just went in a 270 degree circle, if that makes any small fragment of sense. But yeah, chained anti-gravity platforms with spikes on the bottom. What? That is the most convoluted design I've ever heard of. And it worked. This is why I practically worship flying battery, folks. You don't get much more mind-screwingly awesome than this. Well, except for that Master Edition, but that's neither here nor there. I sent something over to the left. Up there is... What is it? It's another portal! Why are there portals to Hidden Palace and a flying ship? Well, actually, I don't mind. To date, four is the highest number of portals I've found in a single run. Well, five if you count the other one I pointed out. This stage is actually a bit difficult, especially if you hate going backwards. It's kind of mandatory here. So we'll start with the 3 by 3s in front of and behind us. Next is a giant plus sign. And then the tricky part, you'll want to jump into a gold sphere and have the rubber five spaces ahead bounce you backwards through the next two blue spheres. Don't turn until you bounce forward again. You'll have to do this four times throughout the stage. It's like one of those trust exercises. Then, what's this? An intimidating looking shape? Run straight through! Almost all of it turns into rings. Tricky, tricky. Then we turn down here, trust exercise one more time, and there you have it. You can get the last two rings if you want for that perfect bonus, but nah, I'm good. And we got the blue emerald! Excellent! One of my favorite colors. The other's green. And on that note, that about wraps up this part of the J-Play Play Along. Be sure to come back for part 21 where we'll continue the rest of Flying Battery and continue- uh, We'll collect the rest of the Super Emeralds. I hope. Sometime. Um... See you guys next time!